are starting off today with a trip to get a bagel and coffee. And because it's Saturday morning, I'm like, why wouldn't I go out and get a bagel and coffee for myself? It's like noonish. I think I'm going to write for like an hour. But let me show you guys like my writing process, what I need to do to start writing and like how I set the scene. I always need to be wearing my writing t-shirt. Um, <laughs> that sounds so stupid, but I do. This is my Gilmore Girls Eras Tour t-shirt and I don't know why, it's like my lucky charm and I need to be wearing it when I write, so. Okay, so this is my little writing area that I typically write in. I have a window right here because I need to be able to see outside when I write. I don't know why, I just need to. Um, I can't be in like a closed off room, just can't do it. Um, I have my headphones because I need to listen to music to set the scene. I have a bunch of playlists that I listen to while I write. I'm writing a fantasy book, so like I need to listen to like fantasy-esque music. And I use my iPad to write, which I probably shouldn't. I should probably start using a laptop, but I like my iPad, so it works. I use this little Bluetooth keyboard that I got from Amazon for like 20 bucks, super cheap. So to start off before I start writing, I'll usually go onto my Pinterest and I have a saved folder for, for my work in progress. These are all pictures to like inspire me, get me writing, just give me like a writing prompt almost. And then at the bottom, there's always like more ideas and I scroll through those and I get more ideas and I don't know, it just helps so much to look through this before I start writing. Um, So I always do that. And then I go ahead and I put on playlist that I want to listen to like fantasy instrumental and that is what I typically listen to right now at least and then I will go into my writing and I will just start. I also use this app called vocabulary and it gives me a new word to use every day and I try to incorporate that into my writing which I love just gets me thinking um this is not sponsored but maybe one day. Jennifer Finney Boylan. This is me and my friend's book club pick for the month of June. This book is so good. I don't want to say too much because I don't want to give it away. I went into it with like little to zero idea about what it was and that was like perfect for me. Um, so if you're looking for a book, I recommend. I just wanted to talk about real quick like my goals with my writing and like how I'm following that, how I'm setting goals and marking them. So I've been writing with Reedsy. I use Scrivener as well to like format the book and plot it and then I use Readsy as well. It has like goals and insights and I love that. Welcome to my Readsy. This is how I mark and track my goals. So over on the right hand side you will see the goals and insights tab. You will click on that and you can see manuscript goals. If you click those three dots, it's going to bring you to a tab where you are going to put in how many words you would like your book to be and when you would like to finish it by. I have mine set at 100,000 to be done by August 31st of this year, which is a little bold of me, but I'm going to try my best. And then below that, it says configure the days you write. You click on that and you will be picking which days of the week you will write so it can configure how many words a day you should be writing in order to finish your book in time. Right now, I have it set as writing every single day of the week, which is definitely a lot, but I think I can do it. So that is what we are sticking with. You press save and it tells me I need to write 1,362 words a day to finish my book in time. Up top, it's going to track how many words you are writing a day. You can click on different days of the week, so Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and it tells you how much you've written. I've written 1,392 words today, so I have passed my goal for the day, even though I will probably be writing a little bit more to make up for future days when I probably will miss that writing goal. But that is pretty much it, and I've been loving this so far. I'm not sure why I'm doing this now, but I'm getting a little bit bored of like the color coded if you could even call it that bookshelf so we are going to reorganize it by genre because that's fun let's do it the genre i have the most of is probably fantasy okay, i'm gonna put fantasy up top I don't know if 
but I'm gonna keep it like all black here. Like I wanna mix it up a little bit. Just going in the romance. I don't even read those anymore, so they're just going there. That's where they're going. I'm gonna include YA romance in romance. So the summer I turn pretty is going there too. I'm gonna finish off that shelf with like literary fiction. Like kind of like the ones that you don't know exactly what to categorize it as. realizing I'm forgetting some fantasies too. Can I fit them? Let's find out. Let's take Twilight away. Sorry, Twilight. Okay, and then I'm gonna put thrillers here. Thrillers and mysteries. And then my little like classic. My two cutesy little non-fictions can get right up here. I'm not sure if I like it yet. I just needed a little change. She's cute. Okay, I'm gonna go to my boyfriend's now and we are gonna watch Black Mirror and have dinner. Also have a new scent for my car. Um, this was from fall. Um, the new one is sweater weather. Feel free to like and subscribe and I will see you next time.